Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're back as the yellow player, Data, not Data, or Data, not Data, from France. We're going to be playing one of the craziest maps for Capital Conquest available, Mall of the Dead. Let's hop into it, see what it looks like. I'll show you the settings exactly in a moment. Ooh, okay. So we got blizzards chopping off the bridge from this upper portion. I have no good cap spot, I don't think. This is... Uh, Black probably caps on this three here, which is a big problem for me. I could cap theoretically on my two and food court bottom. So here's the bonuses from all of the dead, right? Business corner is an eight, bridge is a 10, food court is a nine. Bridge is usually the easiest one to hold because you can, especially with these blizzards at the top, it's a two point guard right here in the middle to hold that whole plus 10. You get that early and it's game over. I maybe go for this middle bonus. But I don't have a cap in a good spot for it for walkway bottom two or three. Food court bottom, maybe I try to take the middle with that? Don't know. I think I'm going to cap on this two in food court bottom and try to take this in the first turn. Alternatively, I could cap in east escalators and then try to take this big plus nine, but that's unlikely to hold. And also, Black's going to hate me because he will cap on that three. I mean, if he does cap that three, maybe I roll. Nah. Let's just make the smartest play. I could alternatively cap on this two over here, actually, and try to make a play for bridge. Nobody capped. Green didn't cap here. I wonder if there's a cap in here. I think I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go for this middle bonus turn one. Hope I get it. I'll add two troops to this two. Add a few troops to this three, and try to take the middle bonus. Now, there's no alliances. We are going to be playing Capital Conquest on the map Mall of the Dead. This is from the Zombies map pack. 60 second turn timers, expert AI, progressive cards, fog and blizzards are on, no alliances, no portals, 12. Bro, blues cap is in beats and eats? Oh, I am so crying right now. That sucks super, this guy caps in beats and eats. That sucks so bad for me. So unbelievably bad. That's not a good cap at all, dude. Like, I, I, why would you ever cap in beats and eats? Ugh, he's fist bumping green. So I, I think green's cap is in fountain right then? Or what is this? Oh, green came out here. Can I look at maybe taking grocers? Do I go for bridge? Is nobody in bridge? What is the, like, okay, I'll come up with this three and I'll come over. Maybe bridge is available? That would be, I've never seen bridge not available. Or, or I've never seen it available. I mean, somebody has to have a giant stack and a capital on bottom bridge. Uh, there it is. Red's got it. Okay, well now we all see this is just not working. Don't roll my capital, dude. Please. Okay, go down. Perfect. That's a 9 now. And now it's an 8. And now he sees blue's capital. So bridge is now not available. It's known. I actually don't know if red's in walkway. Because if it is, that's even more annoying. Like, what do I actually have for a solution? Um, I might as well come up here and uh, let's go looking. Let's do this and go looking in here. Can I get this bonus? Uh, of course not. Of course I can't get this bonus. Red is in here. What is this game, dude? No. <laughs> no. This is horrendous on all sides. Okay, blues cap beats and eats. This is st what? bro. If green's cap is fountain right, if we were right about that, he just takes this whole section and nobody cares. It's over. This is a full on Fiesta Dogtown. I I've used that recently and it, it applies here a hundred percent. Full on Fiesta Dogtown. Nobody capped in bridge. Dude, imagine I capped on walkway top one right now. I just come out this left side. Nobody can test me. Woo so. Woo so. I'm screwed, dude. I'm in the middle of... Well, here's... There is a saving grace. Green's going to get very strong on the outside. He has to kill these guys to get to me. So maybe... Maybe there's a world where I get to survive. I just need to get strong, get my trades in, and stack my capital. Most important thing. Maybe I can even get a good kill guard situation going on. This is disgusting. 
Do I just take bridge and try for fun? Like, if red and white are focused on their bonuses, maybe I just take bridge and pretend I don't have it? I mean, obviously that's not gonna work. <laughs> um, green rolled out who? Me. Okay. Kind of don't want green to be up here. He's getting five. Red's getting five. Why is green rolling that? He should be finishing his bonus on the other side of the map, right? Red's going to try to take this? I don't advise you. Blue's not going to break that? I think I'm breaking it. My goal is just to trade cards with red then, I guess. At some point, red rages and suicides me. But if red rages and suicides me, I get his capital, right? Because I go immediately after him. So I think I'm just going to break red forever. White gets 10 because he does own the plus 4 of grocers. Red wants music area, but he's never going to hold it with me here. I'm not letting that happen. And if he suicides, it's great. Turn order position is great for me to fuck with red. Yes, it is. Oh my god, this map is disgusting. So white didn't actually come out here either? What is white even doing then? I mean, obviously I'm not going to add and go for bridge. I need to stack my capital big daddy time. Red will suicide slam me. And I need to be prepared, because I would love to upgrade to his capital. It's way better than mine. I don't think holding two capitals is even good for me. So if he does suicide me, I'm just going to upgrade to his, and blue can have mine. Go for it. Have Adderhaas, have double capitals, have the plus nine of food court, and you can butt head into the back of white or into the back of black. Uh, black player, what are you doing? Bro, take a bonus. Rolled two times and stopped. Okay, so he knock he he's slowly taking it. He's trying to keep his cap very strong. Maybe Green's got a big stack in Fountain Right. Green probably has his cap in Fountain Right. That's my guess with the way Black did his fist bump early. Yeah, Blue's gonna take card. Blue's actually not even gonna take cards off of red here. He should Blue's misplaying heavily, I think. Blue should be making sure red doesn't hold this bonus. I mean, I'm already making sure, but he should also be making sure. I guess he saw me roll it. He did technically see me roll it, so that's fine. I guess under those circumstances, green starts with five. Yeah, bro. Um, if, if you're the only one outside of the full fiesta, if you're on the outside, you can take the whole board. Like red, white, me, blue. We're in a little circle up here. Black's down here. Like we're like the whole left side of the board is free. And it belongs to green if he wants it. If he is Captain Fountain right, you take this bonus. You take this plus six of entrance. You can even greed for it, because Black's not going to roll a 10 or 12 cap. And then you get that plus six. You just clobber Clothing District. You get that plus seven. And then you just own all of that within a few turns. And then you're just getting so huge before the trades get huge. You just start really putting the pressure on. He can also three-point guard, walkway top one, walkway bottom one, and his cap for these three bonuses. It's a three-point guard. Red wants... He's going to leave a stack? He's leaving ten. Okay, that's... Uh, that's not smart. Hmm. Do I want black to split? Blue or blue? Blue's the only one that sees this, right? I think I'm going to roll that. Not great dice, but it is what it is. I mean, if blue comes around, he'd hit the five cap before me. He says, good luck. Well, don't be stupid, bro. You should have done something different. Yeah, I I'm hoping blue comes up and takes his capital now. And then blue tries to guard two capitals. That would be good for me. White comes out and sees my weak cap. That's not good for me. So red will suicide me. I won't get a kill or cards, but I can come over and upgrade to this cap and abandon this one. Actually, white's after me. So white would take this cap now if I abandon it. And then white would probably start aiming to put pressure on blue to take this as a second bonus. I like that, because then maybe I can actually take this bonus. Maybe, maybe not. But maybe I can start escaping escaping to the left side of the board. Like, realistically, red makes this a 10, a 9, blitzes a 9 on 7 cap roll into me, loses, kills 3 troops of mine, and then quits the game, right? That's about where my prediction is. And then I have a 6 stack, which I make an 11, 10... Nine, and I have a nine cap on his cap at the end of my next turn. Then white comes out and takes this capital. But I have a nine cap. That's my goal. Now, if that doesn't happen, blue could also theoretically come out with his 16 or 20 cap that he probably has. Probably has a 20. 
probably come out and he could hit the five if he wants. I'm hoping he sees it. I'm telling him, I'm signaling him to swing. Add to your cap. Don't add here and go up. Add to your cap and go in. Yes. He's here now? He's here now? Yep. Now take the five cap. He's going to knock this out instead. He's not taking the five cap? Oh, he's taking it after. Minus what? Minus five! So he's got a 12 on here. So now he's going to split. He, if he could get my cap, he'd have a three-point guard on this bonus with three capitals. What's he going to split to it? I mean, I can't allow him to hold that, obviously. Well, red's dead now. Red should not have been guarding that with a 10, though. I... I think blue doing this was better for me than red suiciding me. I don't know for sure, but a 9 on 7 blitz on me could maybe end my game. At least we're looking not as bad now. I do need to make my cap as strong as possible, but also break blue. I'm the only one that can break blue's bonus, dude. If blue starts getting 7 or 8 a turn and starts stacking here with 5s, I'm pretty much toast. He does trade before me, too. So I should get bigger trades to keep up with him, but I can't allow him to get the plus six of music area on top of the double capitals. Red is now quit, right? No? Are you still in here to try to try to get some revenge on me? Oopsie. My baby boy. The only the biggest downside is that to break this bonus opens one of Blue's capitals. I know he has. He lost five when he rolled an 18. You leave one troop, so 17 attacking minus five is 12. He had 12 on this cap. And a 1 here. So between these two caps is 13 troops. So depending what I come out and see, will tell me what the other one is. Yeah, Red's bought it. He, he closed the app and rage quit. Yeah, well, you, you played stupid, man. I'm uh, No offense, like, you're probably great. But, I mean, you probably should not have left 10 off-cap troops in a situation where I have to hit you. Now you've got 6th place. Because my alternative there is I don't hit him. And then he holds this plus six for a few turns, and then I'm just dead. I can't afford that. He says, oops. Well, he's dead. I cannot allow Blue to hold this, so I have to go out. Maybe he's only guarding one of these with a three. No, seven here. This one's a six, then. So Blue's going to get a decent amount of troops. I know he's not happy with me. He probably emoted. I didn't see it, but I, th I think I heard something like that. Well, it's getting nine. Yeah, for this bonus still. So I have a trade with Lil Cafe plus two. I would love to get bridge. If somebody has not gone for bridge blows my mind. No, nobody capped in the two amazing bridge spots. Like, okay, blue capped in beats and eats, and green goes second. You should have definitely capped in top bridge. Unless you have like, unless somebody had like a four in bottom bridge or something. But the way this game's played it, I'm pretty sure Bottom Bridge had nothing. So what's White doing? He's rolling out here. And I kind of want to just ding, ding, ding. Like, this is probably all ones. I kind of want to just ding, ding, ding and try to hold it. It would be hilarious to get away with it. But, like, obviously, Blue and White would both see it. That's White's capital. Yeah, Black's going to knock that out. He only goes there. Or does he go? He goes further. Does he take the cap off Black or Blue? Did he take it? Did he yoink it? There's a world in which he just yoinked it. That was three attacks. Blue gets eight. No, he's got 12 territories, two caps. He still has that capital. He's going to put it all here, and he's going to leave a stack in my face, and now I'm facing problems with blue. He's going to trade next turn and have the plus six. Like, I'm... Bro, this is exactly what Red just did. It's exactly what Red just did. I can't do this twice, man. I can't. Okay. Three goes down. Kind of want to open black to come up and take this. It, it does go down. Okay, so I'm a little safer. I can't... I could let him hold the six. This is an eight cap. He gets ten troop. He gets what? He already got eight. If he gets six more on top of that, he gets 14 plus a four trade. He gets 18. Oh, my God. I am... Uh... Green and red also skipped. That's not good. So I'm going to get the second... Dude, no! <laughs> no, I have to take a card to play break blue. No, I'm not getting the fourth trade. I'm getting... The... Oh, no. 
I need red to have a trade on three or four. Oh no, I am in so much trouble, dude. My later trades are, are will catch me up for the two extra troops attorney gets it while I fight blue infinitely. Oh, why am I stuck in this corner? It's disgusting. How do we win this game? Where's the red bot swinging? Oh. Oh. It wasn't a one here, I guess. I have to break you, bro. I'm sorry, but no. In no world am I letting you hold the plus six and destroy me. I'm sorry, but I'm the one that hit Red's 10 stack off cap. I'm the one that gifted you that position. Stop trying to greed and take it. I mean, I would do the same thing. So. I would 100% do the same thing as him trying to destroy me. If he gets my cap, he does have a three cap hold on a plus six bonus, which is hilarious. I White is playing very passive too, right? He got this bonus early, has fairies, two giant strong stacks. And he's doing nothing but defending with them. Just taking a card and passing forever. Like, is green getting decent amount of troops? Black's getting six. He did take his bonus now. Green's getting fun. Green still didn't take a bonus? What is green even doing? Nobody here is trying to expand take bonuses. So I, if I just hold blue down long enough till the trades are worth something. Like, red's a bot and green's not here. Really. So if blue suicides me the same as I was hoping red would, kind of I'm the next in turn order to take advantage of it, right? Let's say blue has an 8 and a 12. He gets 8 troops. He could make a 20. And he gets 4 more. He could make a 24. 23. 23 blitzes me. He could even come through and blitz like 4 or 5 into me and then blitz me with a 23. I mean, if he really, really went all in on me, he could really ruin my game, but he wouldn't get my cards, and he wouldn't be able to defend all three capitals. Not even close. He's getting seven and not eight. Good. He got knocked out of some territories. There's your trade. I'm hoping red has a trade, and because the bot will use it. I'm hoping greed trades early, too. Black also missed a card somewhere. You're going to suicide me? I go before white, so it's fine. I'm going to emote at him. <laughs> I was hoping he'd be more likely to hit me if I emote at him. He's threatening me like, I will suicide you. Stop messing with me. If he has a trade on three, I'm dead. But if he doesn't have a trade on three, then I can probably survive his, his suicide. <laughs> like, what is Green doing? Did he finally take this bonus? No, because somebody else knocked me out of here, right? Red trades? Bruh? The bots always have a trade on three or four when I'm looking to kill them. But when I'm looking for them to trade to give me a bigger trade, boom, we got it. Thank you. Thank you. What's it going to do here? Yeah, maybe I can chain a red kill later on. I don't know. I don't have much access to the board. We're going to trade. Get my plus two in the little cafe. Put everything on my capital because I need to be as strong as possible. And we're going to break blue. He hates me, but it's going to happen. I have a trade on three. Ooh, baby time. Blue hates me, dude. But that's how the cookie crumbles. White is getting his nine again. If blue suicides me, I don't think I can kill him because I don't have access to all the little spots on the other sides of the board. If he trades, uh, if black trades for 12, then blue would get the 15. It's still not great. Like, you'd have, like, a 40 on 26. Still not a great roll. Like, it's barely a 1.5x, so... As much as he hates me, I don't think he's gonna trade and hit me. And if he does, his game's over. But, like, I literally gave you the position you have, bro, so maybe relax. Chill out, you know? Do something else. The bonus isn't everything. What are you doing, Black? Yeah, he's rolling where... What's he starting with? By the way, 12. He's rolling out over here somewhere. Maybe he added a stack exterior to his capital and he's doing stuff over here. And maybe Green's cap isn't even in Fountain Right. Maybe he's got it in some stupid corner or something. I don't actually know. I don't think I've even seen it or ever seen it. All right. Tra if he instant trades on three, which he didn't. Oh, he does. Here comes the suicide. 39 on 26 is a bad roll. This is a horrendous idea. It's less than 38, even better. Nope, doesn't do it. He really just wants to threaten me. I hope green trades. 
Do I let him hold for one turn? Just to ensure I get a bigger trade? No, green trades. Black will trade, but Black's the only person that's going to trade before me. So if I let him get... If I let Blue get a plus six by not... Like, okay, so if I don't trade here, I shouldn't open him. May I, maybe I can... I'll have a 30 and he'll have what? A 30. He has a 38. He could make a 45, 44, 44 on 30. It's even worse than last turn. But I think he's at his limit, right? So maybe I trade and take his other cap and break him in the back. That would be funny. And then maybe I actually take food court soon. I do have to be cautious of white coming through, though. Like, if I take a blue cap, white coming out with the 18 and a trade would be very detrimental to me. Hmm. So I have multiple options. I break blue and don't trade, and then I get five extra troops after black trades. I could alternatively take the 20 trade now, make a 51, break him and just laugh at him. I could alternatively trade, take this capital off him, and break him back here without opening this cap. Even card blocking him, essentially. That's also an alternative. I kind of like that idea. Because I trade for 20, I can come off this too, even. Hmm. Because it's only an 8 down here, right? Pretty sure he put everything here. I'm just going to trade. I can fortify that, too. Yeah, it is an 8. Okay. Yeah, don't don't be don't be sad. <laughs> I like this idea better. This is better. Now I can break him without opening his cap. Taste the rainbow bucko, you shouldn't have left an 8 cap. And that's the thing, you remember things in the fog and you get to capitalize on that, right? I like it. White is rolling in here too. White and black may get into a fight on the other side of the board, which would be great. White just holds this forever. Um, maybe I can be advantageous. And as these guys knock the rest of the board out, is there a world I can kill red on his four cards or something? Right? I don't know. If I wish I had red in a corner here. Oh, he's, oh, he's lining up to come out. That's a lineup to come out. I'm just going to be shocked. But that's amazing. I do not break white. I do not. I have an enemy in blue. I'm fine. Blue might quit the game, and if he does, he will attack off his capital with everything. Because it's not open. If I was touching his capital, then if he attacked off the cap, he would split. But because I'm not touching his capital, and he owns everything touching his capital, if he bots and attacks the bottom bridge, the full stack comes off the capital. And then I come out and I take the three-point guard and the stupid bonus. Which is hilarious if I get it after all this time. White's on four cards. Man, I think white and black might be fighting. Black gets 11, white gets 9, black gets 27. It's fortifying. What's blue do? Are you still here? Do you love me, blue? Are we Like, the problem is, once he gets a trade, though, I won't be able to guard both capitals if he does fully intend on sending into me. Yeah, if he bots, this is amazing. No, he's not botting. Okay. He doesn't even add back here to retake, though. He's coming out here. And then comes back. Good. He hates me, but it's not a problem. So Red's going to go probably try to knock this bonus out. If it doesn't succeed, I'll take a card out here. Green's rolling. Starting with six. I don't know how Green didn't own the other half of the board at some point. I, I didn't see everything, but, like, I wish we could watch replays with Fog. Right? Like, download the replay for this game and actually be able to watch through it without fog. Imagine I could do that, and then I cut to certain parts, parts of the game, and I can show you what, what the board actually looks like without the fog for that part of the game in my video. That'd be crazy. Right? Like, we see this in fog, this is how I'm playing, but as soon as it switches to other players' turns, I cut to, like, the replay, and I pull that up, and we watch the replay playthrough as, as they play, and we can see the rest of the board. And then we cut back to what I actually see and what I'm thinking. It, like, th that kind of... Oh, my God. That'd be so good for YouTube videos. That'd be so good for you guys. It'd be so good for me. Imagine that. That'd be so good. I'm a dreamer. All right. What are you doing, Red Boy? Three and one up. I was going to take a card here, but now... uh Took an arrow to the knee. Ooh. I don't want to lose this too, bro. Yeah. I want to take up. I want to go up here and then back into my corner. Let's go. 
and white fully came off, so I'm actually not worried about white at all right now. Let's go! Daddy time! Blue players suck it. He's staying in the game, too, and now I see if he takes a card off the red two or not. He'll see my yellow one, unfortunately. I would not mind holding this plus nine bonus, but I actually don't think it matters. We're getting to the point where the trades are going to start happening. Obviously, holding a plus nine is better than not holding a plus nine, but I don't think um, I'd want to do that because I am trapped behind capitals, right? Like, if I get knocked out of here and here, I will eventually run out of cards to take before I'm behind white's cap and blue's cap and black's cap down here. And then I have... No way to push through a capital to get a card, right? So I think it's more important to me, rather than getting this plus nine, to keep one, two, three, four, five, six available cards, especially if they're going to take cards in here too. I will always have cards. I would rather do that than knock everybody out in here. And it's only white and green behind me. So I can remember that. Red is very vulnerable to dying. I would maybe, maybe next turn I knock this blue two out and try to tuck myself in this little corner. I want to keep some access out here. I have a feeling I lose this too, but if I don't, what are you doing, Blue? Are you, are you, are you sad? <laughs> I mean, I, I bullied Red out of the game. Maybe I can bully you out, right? Funny enough, between Blue, Red, and me, I think I had the worst. Well, no, Blue probably had the worst position, but I fed him into the best position. So I like bullied Red out of the game when he was in a better position than me, and then bullied Blue out of the game when he was in a better position than me. That's pretty good if you can pull that stuff off, right? I'm trying. Like, maybe he's quit. Maybe he's done. He's just had enough. He's like, no. I don't want to try to fight anymore. I've got nothing. I can't hold my bonus. I can't do anything. And if his if, if a bot takes over and swings this, the full stack comes off and I get that capital and this middle bonus. Oh, if he's a bot, dude. If he's a bot, it's going to do that. It might come off and then fortify against my capital, which means I'd actually have to hit a big stack to get that cap. But if he did, oh my god. Because green's nowhere near this blue cap. Green's nowhere near here. He's not in here. White's here. So green's the only one that goes after him, and then red. Like, maybe red comes in? If blue comes out, but blue's full stack would be here, pretty much. Against red's big stack. So, like, I think blue, if he bots, I bullied him out of the game to give myself a god position. Because then I have access out to the rest of the board and this three-point cap with a bonus. Which, that's not even the most important part, but I've, I would secure myself cards. And I think blue and or, or black and green are already enemies. This could be a long one, but it, if I get out and I, I start getting opportunities, like chaining a blue kill into a red kill into something like that, then we're looking at a lot of real potential. Right, like red is basically here. Blue is probably just basically here. What are these guys starting with? Six, five, yeah, nine. Red's getting three, yeah. Uh, knocked my two out, but it's not gonna knock me fully out of this spot because I have a three in the corner. So I do have access to red for now and I will be able to come up. Oh, that's annoying. I'm gonna do that though. I'm gonna position myself in a way or I can see if blue comes out. Oh, that's annoying. Because if blue comes out right now... Do I have a trade dog? No. Oh my god, that would have been good. If blue comes out right now, I'm laughing. 40 troops for white. Plus is 9. Doesn't have access to my 30. I do get to see bottom bridge if something happens, though. And that's the only thing that matters right now. For me. I have not messed with white or broken him. He trusts me over here. Okay. No, he's knocking me out. Why? He's going for the red kill? No. Now I don't see if blue knocks this out. Ooh. Although on my turn, I could add three here, attack up, and then I would see if blue came out or not. Although if blue comes out, it probably comes out and then starts splitting all over and I'd get to see it. And then white will not. Uh, it's on three cards, so we might have a trade. It's also possible this is all blue has. Like, I might actually just be able to kill blue. He's not in here. He's not in Black's bonus. Is Black in draft? Why are you stuck in draft, bro? Come on! Okay, he's here. He's thinking. Sean Bean 90 from Canada. Our opponents, by the way, Celia Joe from United States. How many attacks is he going to do? Green is Rutger Tungsten from country. 
That's a lot of attacks. Is he still is he gonna have a fortify phase? Does he miss a fortify to his camp? Yeah, he's still swinging, bro. We've also got General Vias, the guy I got to bought out from United States. We've got Ophidian from United States, and we've got Sean Bean ninety from Canada. I don't think Sean Bean's from uh, from Canada. <laughs> I don't think Sean Bean's from ninety. Blue's back. Blue's back. No, doggy. I was hoping. Bro, you know I was hoping. Oh, that would have been so good. Well, he missed a card, though. So, like, I might be able to get a situation where I can kill him. I'm going to come up here and look at his camp. I will come up and I want to come... If I can see, I, I want to see his camp. Because if he takes a fourth card... I'm going to take a fourth card now. If it gives me a trade and it's big enough, and he takes a fourth card, I may just go for his kill. And if I don't get his kill and I feed it, Maybe nobody else sees what happened. It's possible. I guess white might. Like, if there's a world, maybe I come up here and I just go out looking and I try to get, like, tucked in here somewhere. Red's on three. Green's getting seven. I think that's a lot of territories. That's nothing other than that. Let me do this. Yep, there's that. It's a 40 cap. Okay. Okay. Get in there? Oh, that would have been a nice little counter tuck. So red maybe comes down. We'll see. Or maybe white does something. I have a trade. It's a 50 trade. I can make an 86 come through and hit the 40. Although he'll be 45 on his turn. Oh, he's going for the red kill. Yeah, well played. Okay. Although, that's going to give him a 50. It means blue gets a 55 trade. Blue could actually 60-something on my 31 next turn. <clears throat> Shit. If he has a trade on 3, I'm in trouble. If he fails the red kill? No, okay. If he fails the red kill and the other guys don't get it, I would trade off here and go looking. That's a good play. Red dies. White is very strong. But he did a lot of troops there to get that, uh, that 50 trade. Probably it was a positive, though. Um, I'd love him to sit in Blue's face. Like, what are the odds Blue exists out here? Probably medium? Maybe small? Like, I don't exist out here, and I haven't in a long time. Blue's been putting all of his troops here fighting. Like, there's a real, like, there's an 11 here, and he's probably, like, White's probably trying to honestly hold business corner at this point. And if he's holding business corner, this, Blue's not in here. He's not in Black's bonus. Right? Green still doesn't have a bonus. So, like, if blue exists somewhere, it's in one of these little corners. Male restroom, he's in the female... May... Crying ape. If blue exists somewhere, he's in crying ape. I'm praying he gets a fourth card right now. And overextends hitting my three out of here. 45, 44, 43. Rolls my three and loses four. Brings a 38 or a 39 back. That... Would be great. Without a trade and he's got a 38 cap, I would go for his kill. And there's a chance that it's not a kill. But it would be fun to go for. Or he loses connection and the bot comes out. Then it's way easier for me. Or he trades, comes off, and takes the 19 cap back. And then I am crying. Okay, no trade. Knock me out of there because you don't like me. Bad dice, please. No, he doesn't. Oh, it's a 44. Dude, it is so tempting. What do I do? I think I'm going to take this white one in food court so he doesn't see these two capitals. Well, he already doesn't see the 19, but I don't want him to see the 31 if blue goes ham. I think I trade here. I think I trade here at a safety. So blue gets 65 troops. It's probably not coming through. <laughs> 69. Hmm. 60 is enough. Yeah. I think this is fine. Do that. 47 and a 63 are probably fine. I'm safe from Blue's shenanigans if he trades and does something. 
I kind of maybe should have put more on the 63 in case he doesn't trade, but like, I really want to kill him. Him not botting? Uh, uh, I tried. I tried. I thought he was out. I thought we bullied them out of the game. That would have been the perfect play, too. It comes off the cap. Oh, man, white. Trying to hold bridge, too. Did they hold this? I need to know. 12. No. They didn't hold this bonus. They're going for bridge, though. Knocking me out over there means I'm going to run out of cards soon. Right, at some point, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more cards. And I'm trapped behind these capitals. Oh, the weakness of my spawn is coming in to show me the pain right now. I mean, technically, I'd also have 10, 11, 12, 13. But white could also just put like 150 here and then I can't get through it anyways. Because he is pretty big. Black's attacking a lot and he started with 10. I obviously I'm not in a position to kill people and advance the game unless I could have got a kill on blue here, but I can't. So it was too short. Him having a 44, I could have made an 86. Like I would have been less than two times and I had to hit a two, a split two and a split two. Like these are twos. So hit a two, split it into a two, split into a two. And then I'm rolling like 77 into, into a 46 cap. Or 44, 77 into a 44 maybe. Maybe 75 if I get bad dice. Somewhere between 75 and 80 into a 44 cap. Like 80 would be, not even an 80. 86, 85. With the splits, it can't even be an 80. So like 75-ish troops into a 44. Right? That's not even... It wouldn't work. And then, and then if I barely, like if I get that roll and it doesn't kill him... <laughs> I have nothing. I have nothing. I am the deadest of all deads. Okay. Potential bot out. Do they have a trade? I don't know. The threes here are a bit annoying, but... I don't know because time ran out before deployment. So the bot didn't get a chance to use the cards? Hmm... I'll take the card here off blue in case I can get blue to maybe. Roll the three on one. I want. Do I have a trade? Yes, I do. Blue says good game. Okay. If blue doesn't have a trade on four because they didn't get a card and they take a fifth card, I can kill them now 100%. Oh, baby. Unless white's trading and killing them now. White got 24. Maybe that's why he said good game. Blue missing a card there, though. If they do not have a trade, I don't know why they missed two cards. I don't know what they're doing. But if they do not have a trade, I can trade kill them for five. 100%. Well, I don't know the 100% would be the kill because I can at least take him out of here. 100%. I would keep going, though, and try to find that kill. I would desperately try to find that kill. White getting 24 means he has... Probably he held bridge. Yeah, he did hold bridge because blue didn't break. So it's bridge and grocers. He doesn't hold business corner. So blue could still be in business corner or down here. What's green starting with? Black's getting 12 still, so just as one bonus. Green still has five, so he never took a bonus still. Green's still here. Black's still here, but he's slow. He thinks a long time. God, people that waste their full 60 seconds every turn, such so annoying, man. Like, blue, Blue's missed cards and wasted his whole six. Like, Black's here. He's literally here. He wasted the whole time and still started ticking. Come on, Sean Bean. You always die in the first season. No trade? Blue has no trade. Take a card, bro. Oh, he's going to waste his full 60 seconds? If I can get that. Man, if I can get that. Please tell me you took a card. Okay, he did. Oh, baby. Is it magic time? Green's going to trade for 65. He has five troops to start. He doesn't hold a bonus. Is he going to attack multiple times? He's going into white here in the back door. Or into black. He's more mad at other people. But this gives me lots more cards. Opens my stuff. Goes right into white. Sees whatever stack white has on his capital here. White's like, hmm, what are you doing? Now he's going to go here, knock out the white three because he's mad at white. 
No, he's going to go down. Look at me. Okay. Obviously, you don't roll that. You can go look at black now. Yep. Open black's capital. Black might come up. I don't know how big black's cap is, and he's got a trade. So this is scary. This is scary. Very scary. Because now, now once I make my play on blue, everybody's going to, black and white are going to come through here looking. Shit, man. Wish me luck. We pray that this is all blue has. Oh! Did he suicide? Okay, I need to go looking quick. What is this? We got him. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay! We have a game! Oh my god, we have a game. Okay. 30? 50? 40? All right, I'm going to go here. Yeah, because if white trades and comes back, I want him to run into 102 cap. This is the most important cap for me because this has access to cards. These two caps aren't as important. They hold my bonus. whoop -dee. He doesn't care. He just... Don't break the bridge and we're good. I'm offering you a fist bump. Just say thanks. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're going to be friendly. If he lets me hold bridge, we'll take cards out here. Okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> what is this game? Oh, baby. So White's guarding my bridge? Oh, now we're going to take cards out the right? He's... What's... It? Oh, man. So we're going to push in a... Bl what does Black do? He didn't trade. Does he come out? How big of a stack does he come out with? He doesn't come out. He just takes his bonus back. Do I have a trade on three? Oh, my God. I do. White's holding, like, he's letting me hold bridge for all this? That's perfectly fine with me. Where do I take my card? Probably up one. Wow. What's green starting with? Six. So green and black still have capitals. This is turning into quite the game. Not gonna lie. I can trade, but I shouldn't need to. So we're going to do... Do a 50 cap here. Make this a 63. Bring this eight out of the corner over here. Friends, I'm also guarding white. Let's go. And I started with 26. He started with 21. Like, I'm fine with that, baby boy. Let's go. Oh, we got out of this nightmare position and turned it around on him. Oh, God. Please don't go in with me with 160. Good, he's not. He's guarding his cat. Good, good, good. He's doing stuff in here. Now, I'm not in a position to get into a fight with anybody, right? White could fight me. I could fight White. But if White and I are friends, which we are now, I'm going to just be taking cards over here. White's going to be down here. Green's down here. And Black's in here. They're all in proximity to fight. I'm in chill mode. I have done my fighting. I got rid of red. I got rid of blue. I am so happy blue went off capital. Oh, yes. What are you doing, Black? You're just going to go looking? Tuck yourself in a little corner there. Cool. I'll knock this green one out and make this a 69er. Green's getting five. <laughs> Crazy, man. What a disgusting game of disgustingness. I do need this to be the biggest one because white can trade and come off and hit this. So I will... Focus on keeping this boy as strong as possible. Make this a 55, and I will buff this more. Actually, instead of making it a 69, I will pull this and make it a 72. Okie doke. 
It's not that important to have a 69. And the, the reason I think White chilled with me on bridge is I never once the entire game broke his plus four grocers. When he backed off of here, I never one time did it. I had a full chance the whole game. And I did fighting with red and blue instead. And then when I came out, I didn't fully take his bonus and destroy him. I came down, saw his stack. He saw I was going for a look, which I was doing. And as soon as I saw there was no more more looking to be had, I fist bumped him and I backed off. And then he, he got to here, thought about breaking me. I fist bumped him and then he didn't. And I said, thanks. I did every signal possible. And now White and I have a, a relationship where we both get to hold mutual bonuses. He has a giant stack on West Hallway blocking all these guys from getting through. So my bridge is safe. Obviously, this is safe with my three camps. And I can just take cards up here for now. Black and green are fighting, and at some point they will go into white. I mean, yeah. I, I am the leader with three caps, so I can't actually see if somebody steals somebody's cap because I am the cap leader. Uh, I killed my two opponents. Why aren't you guys killing more? I mean, I didn't get the red kill, but like I am the reason red's gone. Let's be real. Um, okay. What is going on? I think I'll take this white two out next, or what? I do have to trade. I could actually go looking at Black's capital for fun. Like, how much attacking did Black do? Tracks or pizza? What do you guys think? We'll go Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet deserves it. Okay, I'll make this a one... 40, come off here with the 160, and then what? Go looking for black? Yeah, that's why you wanted to fist bump me. Oh, man, what? Now I have five capitals. Um, I, I had a feeling just to go look. Black was attacking a lot. I should have maybe went for the green kill here. Green's on four cards, but I think green's going to come back into black. I get this white cap. I'm five caps, bro. I was right about green's cap early, too. White doesn't know what to do at this point. Oh, yes, he does. He kills green. <laughs> bro, I should have went for that green kill. I should have checked this corner. Like, I, I did not expect... I spent too much time putting stupid troops here. I should have just went ham. I would have got the green kill. He's probably going to think he can kill black now. Black gets no more cards. Oh, he's got a card up here. He's going to come out here and find black out here. With this seven. If he doesn't find black out here, black will take another card, and that will help me a lot. Okay, breaks bridge. Yeah, okay. That's a 158 cap. Now it's time for me to kill black, card block white, win the game. Oh my god, what a sick game! Bah! What a sick game! Oh, he's coming out. He doesn't want to be card blocked. Who doggy doggy? <laughs> black takes a card. He's not taking a card. He quit. He doesn't get a card. White's going to have a trade here. I get 22. Do I kill black? I think I kill black. Do I get that? No, I don't. Oh my god. That's a pain. Just be friendly to me. Oh. Ha. Huh. He's going to come right through here. 
Good kill guard on black. Probably in male restroom or female restroom. Oh, he comes off this way. Well, at least I put the 140 in the right spot. Yeah, he did. Damn it. Well, this one is safe unless he comes through these 50s. But he's going to run into the 140. He, he doesn't know which cap I came off of, though. There we go. If he does take this, he will take the one, too. Okay, we're in three caps versus three caps. I have a trade to come back with, but he's on four cards. He has the advantage after that black kill. Three on one fails, and I'm laughing. I need this three on one to fail. He's also got a 160 here. Oh, baby. Okay, so I have four caps to his whatever. What are the trades worth? 110. He's going to hit the 140? No, he's going to hit the 20, but it's not a good roll. Now I'm open, though, with this 140. 20 and a trade. Um, What do I do here? Fifty-eight. It's not that important. Let's see. Good roll. Okay, I got four caps. He's got a trade probably. 290, he's got 115 plus 160 here. So he's like, we're 290 to 290, maybe-ish? What does he do? Does he, he's gonna take cards? Or, or he's going crazy with the 120, okay. Card block's not happening. Yeah, there's a 12 here, sorry bro. And that's good, now this 25 is seeable, but he can't get it. I don't have to reopen anything. I gotta pay attention to where this cap, where this stack goes, right? Uh, he's also got a stack here, which wasn't that much though. 40, 50? So 40, 50, he's got 50 troops on me. This is gonna be a tough 1v1, man. He might try to hold this with a single point. Mm. Gonna knock all that out again. Yo, good player. I think he's a really good player. It's it's appearing that he's a really good player. Appearing to be. Hmm. Let me see. What's his capital? A 40, okay. What does he get for bonuses? Uh, just this one, right? Do I have a trade on three? 250 troops, he's got 40. He's got like 100 here or an 80 here or something. No trade, okay. Ooh, it's going to turn into an insane 1v1. What, we're almost an hour in. Hmm. Think about taking this 40 cap on the next trade, maybe? Oh, one up. Where's he going to fortify? I also have to buff this cap, unfortunately. He's fortifying from here to here. Working on that card block. Okay, interesting. Well, if we're doing... Hmm. That's fine. Yeah, he's there with the 24. Could break this, but I don't want to. What are the trades? 120 is crazy strong. 
Hmm. Do I have a trade on four? No trade on four? Bro, tell me you don't have a trade on three. God, if you had a trade on three here, it'd be very bad. I mean, I, it would not be smart to use it because I would trade on four and then card block him, but now... What's he starting with? Return 19. Okay. He's working on the card block. I appreciate it. Appreciate the strategy here. He okay, opens a 62, so I can just go through all this. Problem is I don't have a trade. It is a problem. Probably brings us 31 to a cap because he's expecting me to go ham. Yeah, I can see that. Leaves me with everything down here. I'm going to leave this cap trapped and this guy. He's got two caps and I'm going to leave them both trapped. Okay, I have a trade. Does he trade on four? He's not going to, I don't think. What did I start with? Oh, he's not trading. Okay, 19. <laughs> now he sees the capitals. I can't hold four caps, but if he... But for him to trade and hit a cap, it will even the troops there, right? He's ahead on me on troops. I can't trade and take both capitals. I could trade and take one, which would be funny. But it's not the capitals that it matters right now. It's the card block. Yeah, he's going back to capital. Hmm. This one he can have. Hmm. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. I'm trying to make sure the best I can here. I don't want to leave that in a pocket. Do I have a trade on three? He, yeah, I do. He could theoretically try to set up a card block here, and then I have to reverse card block him. I mean, he can't really card block me, so maybe I don't. Like, I have guaranteed card here and here, unless he's going for a capital. I would love for him to hit that cap. I would absolutely love it. Lose 70. No, he doesn't. He's going for this one, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, 60's good. I'm taking that. He has a big cap here. That's the thing, though. If I trade on three and take these two capitals, then he's only got one cap, and I can card block him later. Hmm. He's running out of time. This is it tough? Like, in, he, he's going to take a minute to beat. This is turning into a crazy 1v1. Hmm. One of the trades, 130. Bro, these, uh, these rolls, not fun. Am I gonna presume he doesn't have a trade? Is that my play here?
I'm going to do that because I don't think he's going to trade come through here. I'm going to leave this hidden 42. Okay. He's going to try something. Yeah, he's not going to get this 10. He's going to put it over here and try to come through. He will pop my 42 though. Okay, but the 56. So I, I, I did this right. I left most of it on this side. He will hit the 42. But now I trade and try to set up a card block. If he, if he knocks this whole corner out, I can card block him. Forty-two gets toasted. He's splitting. Thirty-three on the forty-two. Okay. He's gonna knock all of this. Out. Dude, he's fast. Two on one. It's good. I wanted that to succeed. That's good for me. Mm-hmm. Try this. He has no trade. He gets 26 troops. 29 on 15. He tries it. It's less than two. He gets it, though. Wow. That's it, though. I hold a lot of the board. He's going to fortify to that. How much? At 38. I could try this roll. Don't need to. So how much does he get off that now? An extra two troops at least, right? Okay. He's got cards, but um, I'm holding a good chunk. Does he have a trade on two? He does not have a trade on two. He's going to try the 29 on 36. Almost. Hmm. If I had a trade on three here, I could really put him in the dumpster. Although now I don't have a card without opening a capital, I guess. Or I take this cap. I take this cap. Mm-hmm. I'm going to assume he doesn't have a trade. David, I, I have to play the game. I have a trade on four if he trades. Okay, I have a trade to come back with whatever he does here. But that sucks a lot. He has a trade on three. He has a fucking trade on three. If I had a trade on three, the game was over. He has a trade on three, and now it's this. Oh, so lucky. Lost only six on that. Interesting. Hmm. So lucky, bro. So lucky. I can reset this block up, right? Can I not? I just maybe I just get good dice. I also need to save myself cards, right? Hmm. 
No, I gotta do this. Unfortunately, I gotta do this. He's got cards in here, but that's it. It's three caps to three caps, but I have... He's very limited on cards. He's got two cards at... But I also only have two cards. Hmm. Well, I can take this, actually. Comes out with a 73. What stack was that? Was that this cap? He knows I'm decent. What did he start with? 26. That was good. He's got one card left. If he doesn't... Do I have a trade? Please trade on three. No! Every time, bro. Oh, he got 30 on 40 is his best. Yeah, that's his only card. If he has a trade on three, I lose. That's... Yeah, there. That's that. That's this stack. Hmm. He's still got this cat with a lot on it. If I had a trade right now, I win the game. That's so unfortunate. Try zero percent. So annoying. Cap run. As soon as that fifty four there was in the middle, I knew the other fortification was the other cap. Oh wow, that was a that was an insane game. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, intermediate, intermediate. White was a master. Yeah, a really good player, white player. Wow, what a game, guys. This is one of the longer games you're going to see on the main channel, but this was a banger and I had to put it on here for you. I'm, I'm hopeful you made it to the end. Thank you, everybody, for making it to the end. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoy the longer games, check out Kilted Gaming in the description below. That's my second channel. And uh, catch you guys in the next one. Or this one right here.